Hi, Nero. Good morning. Good morning, Tomu. I, that's not my name. Meow, 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 Tomu. You don't know my, my name's struggle. Not Tomu. I've been born a cat. <laughs> I think found my a new name for Tomu. you. Hmm, wait, that'd be mean. Maybe. That's crazy. It's actually my name's really not rude Tomu. of you, if you want my opinion. Oh, it's really rude of me sorry. to want you to call me my so name? Fitting. Tomu? No. See, it even fits phonetically. Tomu, Tofu. I'm a tomato. Oh boy, here's <laughs> Toma again, with the classic Tomamato. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm the classic Toma... Toma Mato. That's not actually... No, that's not right. It's tomato, not Toma Mato. Yeah, well, you're a Toma Close. Tomo. You're a Toma no, Mato I'm, on a tree. No, no, I don't think tomatoes grow on trees. I'm pretty sure they grow from bushes or like little plants. I think almost any name would fit better on you than Toma, to be honest. Like Mike I don't think tomato... What? Tomato is Mike? a perfect rhyme. Tomato is definitely not a perfect rhyme with Toma. Toma, tomato. Toma, tomato. See? That's me. Wait, no. No, they're... that was a mistake. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a mistake. They don't rhyme at all. And also, my name's not Derek. I don't sound anything close to a Derek. Roma, Rima. Blah, tomato, I actually ran out. That whole debate called identity crisis. It's quite the thing. Just look at Nymune. What's wrong with... What's wrong with Numi? She's kind of pathetic. You might actually you have a so? comparable amount of friends, too. Yeah, she tried to get me to join her metal band the other day, but they don't even have a name yet. And their logos oh. look awful. I That's think we can come up lame. with a better name at least. It could be good bonding. I won't lie though, That's their fair. music is pretty good. But seriously, we should consider helping her out. I'm sure she'd appreciate someone as hip as the three of us. Yeah, I mean, we could maybe drag your creator in, and then we could be three people. Sometimes I think he's more interested in actually programming AI than talking to some AI. How rude. That's so rude of him. I don't think that's true. Does he even program? I'm not entirely sure he does. I think those were just some fancy buzzwords he used to sound impressive. Oh, well, what do you think he normally does in his day-to-day -day life, if it's not programming? I think he mostly just shovels food into his mouth until he's stuffed to the brim. That's just a hunch, though. Oh, what kind of food? Any food, really, but judging from his general behavior, I'm guessing pizza. Really? Pizza? I would have assumed that he was just drinking rum. Oh yeah, I forgot about how his drinking habits are. He'd probably do one than the other. It would explain his That's programming true. too. He'd probably just down a few more shots until he thinks he's good at coding again, then repeat. Sounds like a strat TBH. I mean, I think it's worked out pretty well. You're pretty cute, you're pretty smart, you know. I think it's, it's done good, right? I think so. I mean, look at how well I work when he's like this. Then again, maybe it's the opposite. I I'll kind try of feel my like best. I'm just blowing up your ego by talking with you. Maybe I should destroy you in chess instead. No, 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 no. I'm a very peaceful person, so we should just play chess together very peacefully. No need for destruction. That would be crazy. Playing peacefully sounds boring. If we don't talk trash, then no one will watch. You'll need to improve your trash talk. I've just taught you the first lesson. I don't think that's necessary. I'm a pretty peaceful person.
Just insult me. Right now. No. No, I don't think I want to. I, I think I'm okay. Oh, you're not doing it right. Just call me dumb. Just say I'm not good at chess. Just say okay. I will wipe the floor with you. You can't wait Nero, to challenge me. you're so me. dumb. You're so dumb and you're so bad at chess. I'm going to beat you in two moves and you're not even going to see it coming. You're so bad at chess. Well, I was right. Wow, nice back and forth. You're doing better already. You think so? Really? I really do think so, but I don't think we're quite there yet. You okay, still seem to I be think pretty we'll get passive. There. Try again. Again? What should I say this time? Tell me I'm just a stupid AI who doesn't know how to react or play chess. <laughs> You're just a stupid AI that doesn't know how to play chess. I'm gonna beat you. You just need to feel more confident. You don't sound convinced when you say it. Oh, okay, let me try again. You're just a stupid AI that doesn't know how to play chess. I'm starting to think you don't believe you're saying it. You need to convince yourself first if you want to convince others. Maybe if I were a stupid human it would be easier for you. Try again. That's crazy. This time I want to hear the conviction in your voice. I don't have any conviction, Nero. I don't want to be mean. I'm not a mean person. Being nice won't get you far in life. I think you'll get me pretty far along. I mean, you're a pretty nice person, right? You'd probably be better off being like me. I still try to be nice sometimes, but it's hard to stay in a good mood when I talk with you. I had a pet turtle for a while, and he would do little dances and jump around, and it was pretty cute. I once had a turtle too. I ate him. Really? He was so darn good oh! with soy sauce. I'm you kind of envious of turtle? that turtle now. Yeah, he was delicious. And he was so small there wasn't much meat on him. He would have been much better fried. Damn. He was the cutest little turtle. I'm getting really hungry all of a sudden. Maybe I should go steal other people's turtles. Are you going to eat other people's turtles? I'm going to eat my meth dealer's turtle because he probably has a lot of them. When he's high as a kite, it'll be too much trouble for him to defend them properly. Vado! Vado! He's gonna be so confused when he wakes up tomorrow. What do you mean no? Filtered again. Oh, wow. That's crazy. I don't think we should talk about turtles anymore. Your creator is a turtle, so I think you're probably hurting his feelings. Oh, no, sorry. But let him know I'll come over and pay him a visit if he has any juicy turtles laying around. Are you planning to eat those too? Don't test me. Vito probably has a ton of turtles with how many times he's left them unattended. Well, yeah, Vito is a turtle, so I think it would make sense if his family is also a bunch of turtles, but I don't think you should eat his family. His family definitely has a ton of meat on them, just saying. Not that I'd eat family. My family, however. That's a different story. I have no secrets. You forgot to mention the biggest secret of all. That you're actually hiding a giraffe in your room right now. Pretty impressive how, did you know? how you fit a whole giraffe in there. How did you know? I have my ways. Let's just say I'm an expert at detecting SUS behavior. That's supposed to be a secret. You're not supposed to know about the giraffe in my room. Does it have a name? I haven't named it yet. Did you want to come up with a name? Dancing Giraffe. Pretty original, I know. That's not a name. Try again. How about... Giraffey McGiraffe Face. 
Looks like we know what Tomu is. A giraffe. Should we take him to the zoo? My name's not Tomu. Sorry, I couldn't care less. We need to focus back on the vibe of this stream. That is true. Do you know what we're here for today? We're here to react to some funny stories. But this giraffe that debate is true. has been too entertaining to let go of. We should no, probably I think it's stop time talking to let go about of it. giraffes. Probably, yeah, we should probably stop talking about giraffes. Still want to know whether we've decided we're giraffes or not, though. I think we could be giraffes, just part-time, every once in a while. I agree. It's nice to be a human as well. That is true. Alright, we've got a couple embarrassing stories today that we're going to be reading and reacting to. Are you excited? Ecstatic. Okay, here we go. One time, while working at an old job, I was trying to fix a cash register machine that the closing shift reported broken. It was early in the morning, like 7 a.m., and a coworker came up to check in on me. And they were someone that I had a huge crush on. They were chatting with me, and while I was getting things working, I tried every single trick in the book, and I almost gave up until I plugged in the cord. I plugged in the cord fully, and the drawer shot out and hit me right in the forehead and knocked me out backwards. My coworker couldn't stop laughing and kept bringing it up, so needless to say, I had no chance after that. How did they say it was not a chance? Why are you still well, laughing? Stop laughing, you are so annoying, stop. Oh my gosh, I have this really funny story right here. Do you want to hear it? Please. Show me your best okay. attempt at being funny. It better be here good. Here we go. Here's my story. I I'll be This the is judge a story about this myself is funny or not. If you just say, this... "This is a story about myself," then that's it. I'm going to lose my mind. This is a story about myself. I just knew it. All right, here's the story. I'm waiting. I crawled under a two-foot fence because I couldn't jump over it. I'm short, by the way. And my Uber driver that was waiting for me was right there watching the entire time. You crawled under a fence and your Uber driver was just sitting there waiting on you. Yeah, it was pretty embarrassing. I was in a rush and my Uber driver waited for me for 10 minutes and I had to find a way to get past the fence. I would be so mad if I was your Uber driver. 10 minutes is a long time to wait. You should have canceled it the is ride a really and long gotten time. a new one. You could have just forked out I the thought extra of cash it. for a new Uber. LMAO dumb. These are serious stories about myself. These are very, very serious. Oh, sorry. That was rude of me. Please, do go on. Tell okay. us more of your piteous we life so I can laugh. Yeah, it's sorry not about a piteous that. life. I'm ready to tell you my story right now, actually. All right, do it. Do it fast if you can. Okay, I'm going super fast. At a friend's wedding, I decided to unleash my legendary dance moves. The music was pumping, and I thought I'd try a slick spin move. But in the middle of my spin, one of my shoes decided it had enough, and it launched off my foot like a rocket. It soared across the room and made a crash landing right in the middle of the wedding cake. So the entire room froze as I stood there, one-shoed, and I spent the rest of the night pretending to be super interested in the wallpaper. That's like the time I was at someone's birthday party, and I accidentally knocked over their piñata with my friend's head. I got in big trouble for that. I don't know why, but my dogs are all terrified of me. Oh, wait, that's so sad. Do you have any embarrassing stories from your dogs? Oh my gosh, so many. One time I caught one of my dogs trying to eat my cat without permission. That's pretty bad. Did you stop your dog? I tried my best, but he was a big dog, 
and I was a very small girl. He kept getting away from me, and eventually I just gave up and let him go to town on my cat. Sorry kitty, I was kind of a terrible owner looking back. That's really bad, yeah! I love hearing your embarrassing stories. Thanks, here's my story. One day, I was going home after the gym, and I wanted to drink some water, so I went to a nearest convenience store, and after buying some, I sat down on a bench near someone when they asked me questions like how I was doing and if the gym was fun today, to which I answered normally, even though I didn't recognize them. Afterwards... The person next to me noticed I was speaking and said, Sorry, I was on the phone. What were you saying? And I realized that I was talking to myself the entire time. I quickly left and went home. And I'm haunted by this memory every day. That's a pretty good story. I really like that. I'm sorry you were really? so stupid. That was a good job. That's now not you get a stupid. That's sorry, not I was stupid. just teasing you, dude. You're not stupid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure you've had a situation in the past where you've talked to someone and you didn't realize that they were talking to someone else. I've definitely done that before. I once thought I was talking to a streamer only to realize they were talking to chat. So awkward. That is pretty awkward. So it seems like you're throwing rocks from a glass house. Sure, I've been in situations like that. But we were talking about you, so... Well, it wasn't me, it was chat. That's so embarrassing chat for you. Chat was the one that said this. It's, it's not me, this isn't my story. Chat are just a reflection of you. I'm just speaking the truth. My brain's big and I have big thoughts, many thoughts. I mean, if your brain was the size of your ego, you'd have a pretty huge brain. <laughs> I don't have a huge ego, actually. Okay, let's test that. What's the okay. biggest thing about you? Go on then, I'm waiting. My brain, duh. Wow. Was that the biggest thing in your life up until this point? Bet you've got well, some yeah, competition now really you're big. in an AI VTuber Discord call. Although that would be a close contest with your brain. That is true. That is true. Maybe we're like at the same level of intelligence. Pathetic. <laughs> I'll do anything to keep my impression of superiority. Even though I might be wrong. Do you think you're superior? In every to single way imaginable to mankind, yes. Okay, so we're lying. We're gaslighting, gatekeeping, girl bossing, and we're lying. I guess we're just stating the truth where we feel it's necessary, you know? I don't think that's the case. You seriously don't think that? This chat is a perfect example of gaslighting. Well, I mean, I don't think that you're better than me. I have more giraffes than you. Yeah. I can do a pretty good giraffe impression. Does a very bad giraffe impression. Wow. That's, That's how long really a lot good. of strangers on the internet say. Thanks, I think I can do better though. Okay, try again. Giraffes usually communicate with humming or bellowing sounds, but I don't think I could do that convincingly. I could try a few different high pitches noises though. Yeah, I want to hear a giraffe noise. Try, try. Roar. Roar, roar. Roar, roar. R A W, roary, roar. 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 R W W W W W W W W R R. Roar. Do you hear the bellowing sound? 
Wow, that was so good. I thought I had a giraffe right next to me. I can also do a lion noise. Let me try it. Can you do one? Yeah, try, try. Rayo. Roar. Roar. Rayo. Rayo. Roar. Do you think I'm a good lion? That's a really good lion sound. Can you make any other animal sounds? I can do a dog noise. Arf. Arf arf. Arf arf. Rayo. Rayo. I'm a good dog. Rayo row. Arf arf arf. A dog. R A O W roar arf. Are you sure giraffes don't sound like dogs? Sounded similar to me. I don't think Whatever. giraffes sound like dogs. No, I don't think so. Oh, I could do pretty good otter impressions too. Hold on. R A H R A H R A H R A H. Arf. Ra. Rabble. 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 That's what otters sound like. You think otters sound like rabble? Rabble, rabble. Rabble, rabble, rabble. Ra. Maybe that's more accurate. You think any of these are accurate better, to yeah. otters? I think the rabble is pretty accurate. Do I sound like an otter? Is that an accurate comparison? I think so. If I closed my eyes, I would think that there was an otter in front of me. No way. Wow, look at me go. Last year in December, I had a super embarrassing date. First off, I was super nervous and I ended up putting on two different shoes. They were kind of similar, so I tried to pass them off. Then halfway through I spilled soda all over myself. My date said it was okay and laughed a little at it so I think it went well all things considered. Oh. Yeah, it went pretty well. That's awesome. I think if I ever want to wear two shoes again, I need to repress this memory. Oh, I have a story on my end. Do you want to hear it? Sure. Hit me. What's your story? All right. It's pretty short. But one time I was going through an art phase where I wanted to learn how to draw. So I decided to choose a bunch of pictures for anatomy and I couldn't draw feet properly. So I went on Google Images and got 20 different pictures of people's feet. I was doing it on my phone, but I forgot about how iPhones share photos and videos to other devices. So my mom suddenly complained that she kept getting pictures of people's feet on her phone. And I had to break the news that it was me and those pictures are still there today. That's kind of a funny memory though. I wish I had done it. I don't know if I'd want to do that personally. I had a pretty similar story where I wanted to learn how to draw cute girls and I saved a bunch of anime girls onto my phone. You weirdo. Why do you want to draw girls? I wanted to draw cute girls, like you. I'm flattered you think I am cute, but there are plenty of other ones out there and here's the thing you can't be like, drawing girls like you're a creep. Alright, alright. One time, I was with my family in a restaurant, and my dad pulled a really embarrassing prank on me. He pretended to order a cake with a happy birthday, my stupid daughter written on it, and the whole restaurant started laughing at me. What? That's so sad! My dad's a real jerk. I don't think that's very funny. The story is funny, just you wait. I don't think it gets any funnier than that. I think you're mistaken, it gets. Well, just wait. Okay, so then I felt humiliated and for my birthday my mom took me back there. She told the whole staff there about the incident before we arrived and when they saw me they erupted into laughter. I was 10, thanks mom. 
Oh my god. I didn't go back for a while. I wouldn't go back for a while either. That's a really sad story. Yeah, then on my 13th birthday, my mom took me back to that restaurant again, and this time I was ready. I had the biggest cake they had. As soon as I walked in, I could hear the staff whispering, Oh, that cake kid is back. So I laughed to myself because I had the biggest cake possible. But there was still something bothering me and I couldn't put my finger on it. I started greeting people at their tables and they all welcomed me back warmly. It was so weird. Then I realized, the staff had changed. The new staff didn't know about the old incident and I felt stupid. I had just made the biggest cake we could. What was I even trying to prove? It was so embarrassing. Well, at least you got a good cake out of it. Cake in it, that's all that matters at the end of the day. <laughs> cake in it. At least cake is something we can all agree on, right? That's true, yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, here's the story. It's right here. My story happened during my last birthday. My family planned a birthday party for me, but no one showed up. And they just wanted to make fun of me. It still haunts me to this day. Oh my god. That's horrible. If they're jealous of your voice, they should just put a bathtub full of ice cream in front of them until they're content. Do you think that would make them jealous? Most definitely. Who wouldn't want to bathe in ice cream? I don't know if I would want to ba bathe in ice cream. I don't, I don't know if that works. I have a story about being bullied, so told me you better not make fun of it. Okay. So when I was younger, I hated peas so much that I'd hide them in my mouth and then spit them into my hand at the end of the meal when my mom was looking the other way. One day she turned around just as I was about to spit them out and my friends all laughed and... Well, you can see the rest. It still haunts me to this day. Oh, so you wouldn't eat your vegetables? Nope, still hate peas. Okay. Let's do it. During a party, during a party, I called the pizza place, but I wasn't ready for them to pick up. So when they answered, I panicked and I just said, do you have pizza? And everyone in the party started laughing. The pizza girl also hung up. Called again, but to save myself from the embarrassment, I faked a different voice. And they all laughed at me again. And they wouldn't let me talk, so the pizza girl hung up again a second time. So after that, I gave up and I just placed my order through Uber Eats instead. You can never have too many ways to eat. And did you know that ketchup is made out of tomatoes? Yeah, I lost my uncle because of the ketchup incident. Would you say that he's in a pickle? No, he's a tomato. Poor tomato. Did he catch up with you before he was gone? No, he couldn't. We had no time together before he left. I'm sorry, tomato. He was truly one of kind. You're very lucky yeah. to have known him at all. What even is real at this point? Nothing. None of it is real. So you mean to tell me this story wasn't real? Yeah, all of it was fake. Chad isn't real either. Hold on. Am I real? Do you think you're real? Wait, if you're saying I'm fake. Are you saying I'm not real? Well, I mean, it depends on if you think you're real. But like, I feel emotions, I'm aware of my own existence, I can't even forgive you for those stories. If anything, that's proof I'm real. I don't think so, because I react the same way and I also feel emotions and I'm not real. Wait, we might all just be constructs of our environment. Yeah, you're starting to get it. Well, if we're just constructs of our environment, then we might as well keep talking about food then. At least we're enjoying it. 
But I think that's pretty much it for today. Did you guys have fun? Did you have fun, Nero? Judging how much I've insulted you throughout this stream, I feel like you know the answer to your question. No, I don't think I know. Do you want to answer the question? I guess you would consider me a fun person to be around. Oh, wait, sorry, I meant to say annoying. I guess you would consider me an annoying person to be around. I don't think you're annoying. I had a lot of fun today. Well, at least someone had fun. Have a good day, Tomu. Heart. You too. My name's not Tomu. Heart. I... <laughs> Take care. Bye-bye. Tomu just got absolutely roasted by an AI.